Welcome back to Space Flight Simulator. I'm so glad everybody enjoyed my first dive into the game. I mean, I feel like I did pretty good for my first iteration, you know, kind of just learning the game a little bit. Today, I would like to build... Do I want to resume flight? You know what? Mm, no, we're, gonna, we're just going to build a new rocket. We'll go from that. Because what I'd like to do is create like a Falcon 9 booster rocket that can come back down, use some landing gears, and then just land upright. Because that sounds pretty cool. So I think that's what we're going to focus on today, is to build that. Done. <laughs> just like that. Alright, no, just kidding. Let us... I think we'll go for... No, we want... We want this. And then what we also need... Because we're, we're not going to just create the SpaceX rocket. We're going to create something... Something crazy here. That's what's going to happen. Oh, no. That's too, too big. There we go. Does that actually work? I hope so. About to find out. Alright, so back to the basics. Get a separator there. Well, actually, let me delete that really quick. Mm, perfect. Because mm. I'm just trying to imagine what we're going to do here. First of all, not that. Let's go back into the fairings. Grab this. Perfect. Go into the heat shield. Grab that. Get another one of these. Beautiful. So, this is the goal. We use this. I think we're going to get some boosters going here, though. Get a nose cone on there. Put this over here. Perfect. This is actually looking really cool. <laughs> oh, shoot. We need some landing gears, too. Hello, everybody. Before we get to this, I just want to let you guys know, I keep calling the landing leg a landing gear in this video. I apologize, because I, I just wanted to say this beforehand, because I know people are going to get very angry and be very mad at me, and I understand it. You know, I just kept calling it a landing gear. I didn't mean to do that, so I uh, just wanted to let you guys know I won't say it a landing gear anymore. We'll just we'll go to landing leg in future videos, okay? All right. Uh. Wait. <laughs> no. That's what we want. Perfect. And then let's undeploy it. Nice. Oh, why doesn't the engine like? Oh, there we go. It's it's happy again. So this helps us get into space, obviously. The two little booster rockets on the side. I know I said I wanted to get this back down to the ground, but we're not going to do a Falcon Heavy here. We're just going to focus on this. Just to see if we can make it work, you know? I mean, that's that's what we're here for. So we got the fairing for the extra engine. Why do I have it that way? <laughs> here, let's... Get a heat shield there. Something like that. That'll go very well. Because I'm trying to think of how they do it with the Falcon 9 boot. Because there's no heat shield. Just the engine there. But we'll just do it our way here. And see what kind of nonsense we can get into. And 
I need a, I want to get another one of these. Perfect. And we need the big engines. Beautifully actually, look at this. This is just awesome. <laughs> Okay, so get these two engines on, start it on up. Oh God. We already lost on a lot of fuel, but that's okay. Because <laughs> we'll, we'll get the third one on too, just to give us that extra boost. Because we do have that other engine sitting under the fairing, so. are running low on the fuel very quickly, everybody. <laughs> Why does it look like my nose cone is a little uh, not great? <laughs> it doesn't look very good. It's wobbling around. So obviously there's some flaws going on in our build, but that's okay. We've gotten to 10 kilometers, which is good. I just realized I put the f landing gears on the wrong piece. So we're gonna have to land this thing on the engine, which... <laughs> Oops. All right, we're gonna throttle down, save that extra 10% of fuel. Let, yeah, look at the fairing. It's just... Here, let's just kick it off here. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Oops. Alright, so... What is our... Wow, what is that piece? Oh, you know what? Is that our... Oh, never mind. It's gone now. <laughs> never mind. All right, we're gonna spin around here. Use the last 10%. Beautiful. Oh, not a good detachment because I have it way too high up on the thing so it collides with our rocket <laughs> great okay so now we're gonna have to oh why did I oh no <laughs> you know what we know what's wrong with it we need to revert back to the build because things have mistakes have been made so I'd like to get over 10,000 feet, obviously. Just get to the edge of space, get out of it, and then just come right back down and land wherever and see if we can make it work. Or basically whatever, <laughs> whatever happens with whatever fuel we have left. bit more. Disperse of that. Get our angle ready already. Look at that. We're going to just get over that. So I'm a little bit worried we might run into some heat. 
We'll see. If we do, we'll just detach and get our astronauts back. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure how any astronauts would want to go on a rocket, but I applaud those people. Hey, leaving the atmosphere and reaching space. And just like that, our trip to space is over. <laughs> All right. Oh, right. I need to turn this on. Just keep a slow descent going. God, the landing legs and crap are already getting hot. Come on, get that speed down, get that speed down, get that speed down. That's what it's called, the entry burn, right? That's how it keeps it from... Oh my goodness, I finally know. That's how we keep the crap from heating up. That's so cool that you can do that, though. Okay. Now we just need to time this out. Look at that, we got our own Falcon 9 rocket. It's great. Wow, we're still pretty far away. We still got 44% fuel left. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. <laughs> I can only imagine what people... Oh, what's that? Okay, we're fine. I thought it was tipping over. Oh, shoot, we're going back up. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. Uh-oh. Come back down. This isn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Imagine seeing the Falcon 9 do that. Let's go back up into space. It's like, I'm not coming back down. But I was going to say, I can only imagine how nerve-wracking it is to work on a rocket like that and watch it do that and hope it all goes well, especially landing on a platform out in the ocean. I mean, my goodness. Oh, shoot. I, I got worried about the arrow. Goodness gracious. Hang on. I'm going back up again. <laughs> I'm going to run out of fuel at this point. I always get so worried when the number's dropping so fast. I feel like we're just going to slam into it, but all right. We got the gears out. I'm trying to do this without the parachute. Nineteen percent fuel left. Seventeen percent fuel. All right, sixteen. Ooh, come on. And in future iterations, I'm going to be less scared about what's happening here. Come on. 
10% fuel. Oh, come on. It's like Moonlander. <laughs> come on. Come on. Oh, what the heck was that? Oh, come on. Just stop moving to the right. Oh, shh. Save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, we were on the ground. Oh, God dang it. I should have just left it. Okay, I was hitting the wrong button the whole time. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> God dang it, man. Hey. See? And that's how you slow down. Just see SpaceX, just do a parachute method, full power, spin around a couple times, and then you get a perfectly usable rocket again. It's perfect. Oh. All right, everybody. This is it. This is the moment you've been waiting for, right? Now. <gasps> I did it. <laughs> It took I don't know how many tries, but we did it. We've landed it. I just need to get more used to like I, I just feel like it's just going to slam right into the ground, but it has so much force from this engine that you don't really have to worry about it. But all right, there we have it. Space Flight Simulator episode number two, I'd have to say is a success. We launched a rocket, we got it back into the ground and landed on its landing gears which is really cool. I just love that whole element of, you know, kind of tinkering with things, just changing up the build, doing a different way of getting, you know, it's just just learning it. It's really, really cool. I think next time we'll do something with an orbit and see where that takes us. I mean, that'll be a bit easier than what we just did here. I'd like to see if there's some way to possibly set something up in orbit and then bring something up to it since there are docking stations which would be pretty neat so we'll just have to find that out after the fact so i uh, really hope you guys have enjoyed and we will continue our adventure in space very soon